Hey, you. Hey. Did you have a good day? For baby. Steve! I'm not inside, eh? Why wait? Now come on, let's do it now, write the letter. Look at me. I want to take care of you, all right? Feet up on the sofa, full-time mum and all that, eh? You won't get bored of me. All right, yeah. Look how bored I am. Bored. Bored. <laughs> bored. <laughs> I told you, you stick with me, yeah? Cos I'm your dream ticket. You reckon, do you? Yeah, I do, yeah. All oh, right, so that's all it takes. You just turn it on, flash me one of your big smiles and... Mm, I go wobbly. That's right. How's to resist me? Why would you want to... Hey? Hmm. What's that? What's what? Right there. Red, what is it? This must be very uh, confusing for you. Gemma, look at me. I need you to listen to me. Are there any firearms, guns in your house? What? Any weapons? Can you tell me where Steve was on Thursday? Gemma, Thursday, where was Steve? Work. Are you sure about that? What time did he leave? Gemma, concentrate. We found a body. A young man's body in a pub car park. And it appears they can place Steve at the scene. Where does he keep his gun? He sells drinks. Soft drinks. We will find it, Gemma. See if you want to help Steve. You need to tell me anything that you know. I, I don't know anything. of the charge of murder, we would ask Your Honour to consider the defendant's likeliness to abscond. I must also take into account the Crown Prosecutor's concerns regarding the risk of flight and the potential of reprisals from the victim's friends. Therefore, the bail application is denied. The defendant is to be remanded in custody. Visitor centre. Yes? Visitor centre. I'm going right way. I'm 
this must be Mason. Yeah, I've heard all about you, young man. Your daddy will be pleased to see you, won't he? Yeah? Do you want to hold that? Good lad. See you in a minute. See you later. Oh, yeah. Hello, Francesca. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Who are you here to see, love? Stephen Roscoe. I've got me your uh, ID. That's fine. That's fine. This is for your locker, OK? You put everything in there. Your coat, your bag, jewellery, OK? Can you keep them? Oh, yes, you can keep that one. Yeah. Now you have to register for biometric security. Thumb scam. Can't get enough of the big words around here. It makes them feel important. Ah, she loves us, really. There you go, put your finger in there. Look at the camera. That's it. Yeah. Take that number and we'll give you a call. Thank you. Okay. Stop it, Mason. You're annoying that lady. Stop staring. It's rude. Sorry, it's his first time. He's freaked out. Once we go through that door, Miss, we're in. And that's where they're building it. A new football sitting for Blades, even bigger than Wembley. And your dad is helping to make it. Isn't that great? That they chose Daddy? Yeah. That's right. But remember, it's top secret. We're not allowed to see it. We don't tell anyone. Numbers 12 to 24, please. Box. Up. Box. I step through and wait there. Come on, up on the box. Move along, come on now. It gets easier. Franny. Do you like them? Bad for the feet. Good for the mind. <laughs> hey, listen, I spoke to Nick. He said he could sort out that thermostat for you. Saturday. Uh, no, I can't on Saturday because Matt's got his football tournament. I told you, I need the car this week. Oh, shit. All right, well, I'll ring him. You just be careful you don't overheat. Oh, I can't guarantee that. Oh, man, that. I have missed you so much. I won't. Oh, I'm 
wrestle monster. I can't, Mace. I've got to stay in my seat. Wrestle! Come on, remember what I said. It's pretty well, Sinny. Yeah, Mum's right. Like uh, musical chairs. This man this here can, can put you at the scene. What does that mean? I don't know. Do you know him? Do you know who they're talking about? Jim. I swear I don't know anything. What did the solicitor say? Well, he said there's like a trial date and then... You know, but hopefully it'll get thrown out. That's great. Yeah, that's good news. You know, they're gonna sort it out. They'll fix it all. Jim, this is a nightmare. And they've got the wrong man. No. Of course I know. Look at you. You... You would dare. And I'd kill you if you killed someone. Okay. Hey, why don't you go have a look over there? That looks fun. No. Oh, go on, Mace. Hey, George, when you pitch, then you can tell me about your footy. I want to hear all about that penalty. Come on. See? See why I ain't brought him? Well, then we have to tell him. Well, he's not stupid. He's not a baby. He's my baby, and I don't want him to know a note about this. You should have thought that before. Ten weeks? That's all. You'll have to believe it for ten more weeks, and then you're home. He'll be all right. What about you? Still behaving? Of course. Why are you wearing that? Oh, I'm uh, I'm playing five a side after this. I'm in a red team, innit? That's right. You wear them for period or you miss. So how did Matt do in his mocks? Have you heard anything yet? Yeah, he got um Maths and English, you got A's, B in history, and we find out about physics on Thursday. I'm proud of him. I'd tell him myself if I saw him. Mm. Oh, before I forget, I've got you a little treat. Come on. I had to lie to work. Said he had the flu. I know. I'm sorry. Do you want my dad know? Or do you want me to tell him? No, no, no. no. I'll tell him. What do you want his like? <laughs> so noisy. It's like this all the time. We were on the wing. Share a bit. It's gone to sell, Jim. Sorry. Sell. Yeah. Don't worry. Nah, he's not my type. What? We sell, mate, Gemma. He's an arsonist. <laughs> Burnt down a pub in Huddersfield. Don't let him smoke in bed. Mm -hmm. What's the food like? It's better than yours. <laughs> Joking. No, you know. No, no. Ladies and gentlemen, time's up. Oh. Don't worry. We'll get you out of here.
you had enough queuing for one day? Get books. To where? Come on, get in the car. It does get I don't want it to get easier. My husband shouldn't even be in here, you know, he hasn't done anything wrong. Not like that. Them. Is he on remand? Yeah. So, they didn't let him out on bail? What are you saying? Someone somewhere thinks he's done something wrong. Seatbelt. So you've people to help and talk to? Yeah, I've got people. Lots of people. Good, cos you'll need them. Can you eat him? Can't. Well, you need to eat. Your husband. Oh. How long has he been in prison? Six years. Six months ago. One term, but not a lifer. What? You didn't kill anyone? Actually, can you... Can you drop me here, please? Here? Mm -hmm. You don't know me. Or my husband. Well, I think you're very rude. No, I'm sorry, but I didn't mean to upset you, love. Yeah. This is my address. Top one's my home number, but you're more likely to get me on my mobile. So if you need anything, just call me, yeah? I oh, will. Thanks. What a baby, this and live in the bath if she could. <laughs> right, you. Oh, sit there. Look, it's your favourite. <laughs> Darren, this is Gemma, one of my babies. Hi, Darren. Hello. And this. Oh, yeah. This is number seven. Seven foster grandkids. Oh. How old does that make me sound? Mm. Told you, Mum. Don't know where she is. Glasgow. The moon. I have to clear a space. What? Wall of shame. <laughs> oh. All is like that. Used to have to give you a sweet to make you smile. Don't have this. So, who is he? Lucky fella. His name's Steve. Steve. What does he do? He, um... Well, he owns his own business. And it's doing really well. We, we bought a house about three months ago. Cavendish estate. Mm. Very nice. 
But, uh, hey, you, the... ring if you're going to be late. <sighs> ADD. So full of it, Lenny rattles when he walks. Oh, the darrens of this world. <laughs> but you, Gemma, you are my success story. So when are you going to bring him round to meet me, hmm? Make sure he's good enough for you. Soon. I'll call you. any moaning. Oh, I told Dad about your exam results. He said he's really proud of you. Did he? Right. Andy. Hi, Gemma. Do you know? Steve is. Yeah, he rang me from prison. Asked me to pop round. He's worried about you. Why don't we go and sit down? Well, yeah, of course. Yeah, come Nobody will tell us anything. Like, how long is he going to be in the when they're going to let him out? And you keep on asking these stupid questions, like, where does Steve keep his gun? What? You're so ridiculous. Hey, 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 come on, 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 come on. It's all right. Hey, it's I'm all right. right. I'm OK. I'm... Oh, mate. I don't know. How to make this any better? Look, all I can do is tell you, you don't have to worry about the business. I told Steve, I'll keep everything going, keep it afloat while this is sorted out. 
Thank you. Well, he's my partner. What else am I going to do? I told police Steve were at work Thursday. You were? Weren't he? Look, Steve came to work. He picked up a van. He did a delivery and then he came back a couple of hours later. That's what you told police? I'm, I'm sorry, Jim. I had to tell them the truth. Well, someone... They, they must be able to vouch for him. Yes, but not the whole time. I'm sorry. Hey. Look, I know Steve didn't do this. He couldn't. I, I really want help. You don't know where you were for those two hours? No. Have you got your box? Yeah. And your homework? Yeah. And remember, I love you, yeah? I love you. So much. My hand's fallen off. And the other one! Whoops! Oh. Hello, I'm back. Hello, stranger. Weren't expecting you today. Oh, I know, I should have called, but... Well, I just felt so much better this morning, so I thought, come in. I had really, really bad flu. I know, we got your message. Mm. Not the baby, is it? Nothing's happened. Oh, well, no, the baby's fine. I just had an awful feeling. Really, everything's fine. I just... Well, I had a very, very... Upset. Tell me. I thought you said it was flu. Look, if you're ill, it's absolutely no problem if you want to go home. I'll call you a cab. <laughs> you know, uh, I know what it's like with the flu. Uh, you feel fine as long as you're not doing anything, but the moment you overdo it, you... My husband's been arrested. Oh. Came to the house and they just took him away. Well, that must have been a terrible... Uh, well, a shock. <laughs> What was he arrested for, if you don't mind me? Uh... Murder. I can't even believe I'm saying it. What well, do you, um, uh, let me get, get, get a drink. Do you, do you want some water? Uh... No. No, thank you. Say, can't imagine what you must be going through. Thank you. So, what actually happened? Do you mean? Well, well was it um, a fight? Or was it someone Stephen knew? I don't, I don't know. Yes. Sir. I think I might have just read about it in in the local paper, front page. <laughs> it was a shooting, point blank. Is that the one? Well, it's, it must be the one. It's a father of two, you know. I think he's always to suffer some beats. Off, off business for everyone. Jane, hey! you. Sorry, Mum. Mum, this is Saskia. Hello, Miss Miller. Francesca, please. Oh, OK. Can I get anyone a drink? Yes, please. What would you like? Anything, please. You might want to narrow your choices. Before you ask, they're not homemade. That's OK. My mum doesn't bake either. Saskia's mum's a lawyer. Human rights. 
All right. You've got a really lovely house. Thank you. How was your day? You want to go upstairs? Thanks for the drink, Miss Francesca. You're welcome. So, I was chamber. Crap. Why do you always say things like that? Because it's true. Everyone's been asked to audition for Carlton Everyone. Except me. Might as well just give up now. We can't give up. You know how your dad loves to hear you play. So stupid that makes you sound. Cal says he's got two for your World Cup cars so I can have one of his. That's nice of him, miss. I was thinking, dip the egg and soldiers for tea. How would that do you? Good. Later. She's lovely. So how long have you two been seeing each other? A few weeks, a couple of months. You kept her quiet, didn't you? Yeah, the old man's a bit funny about her coming around here. Oh, right. So what does Saskia's father do? He's a banker. Banker? That's a surprise. Mom, stop it. Another morally upright citizen. Oh, three double standards with every Savile Row suit. I think I'll just go and take this to Lauren's bone to practice. At least after another drink, love. I've come to pick up Saskia. Is she ready? She's just coming. Would you like to come in? No, thank you. Uh, we've uh, got to go. Pinstripes. They say they're making a comeback. Sorry? Your suit, it's really nice. So was there anything in particular you wanted to know? I've just come to pick up my daughter. Because I'm sure you've heard all the rumours and surfed the internet. My husband is serving an 18-year sentence for drug trafficking, so you can imagine what that involved. Speedboats, sawn-off shotguns. It was all really Ross Kemp. I didn't say anything. You said it with your eyes and the fact that you won't step over my threshold. We're a respectable family. Not so very different to your own. Hi, Dad. Thanks for having me, Francesca. You're welcome. Gemma, dear Sunter, look, I managed to get your phone back for you. Thought you'd want it as soon as possible. What are they doing? Door to door inquiries. Can I come in? Yeah, we managed to rush you through. They weren't happy, but I thought in. Your condition, you wouldn't want to be without it. I want to know what evidence you've got on Steve. Well, I'm afraid I'm not allowed to tell you that. Well, why's that? Is that because you've not actually got any evidence? 
Steve said he doesn't know the man that you said he's killed. No. Steve's been served with all the evidence against him. And if he knows, you can tell me then. Steve, his solicitor, they have everything that we've got on him. And if they're not sharing this evidence with you, you need to ask yourself why. Gemma, can I ask you a personal question? What? Do you love Steve? I've got no idea. Gemma, you know Steve better than anyone. And that's why you can help. You're so close to him that you'd notice any tiny changes. Was there anything different about him that night? Did he wash his shoes? Spend a bit longer in the shower? Was he moody or...? No! He didn't notice anything? No, I didn't notice anything because he hasn't done anything. Why do you think we're doing all this? Digging up your garden, questioning your neighbours? All this manpower, all this money? I, I don't know. But you're wasting your energy looking in the wrong place. Ruining the wrong people's lives. Oh, poor you. And you think you've got it tough. What about the dead man's widow? It's a daughter's birthday today. Molly, four years old. I've been a copper for a long time. And behind almost every arrest, there's a woman. Oh, we didn't do anything. You got the wrong man. And these women, they either know everything and they're lying through the teeth, or they're just the stupid ones. Well, which one are you, Gemma? Are you devious? Or are you just dumb? Get out. Get out of my house. How well do you really know, Steve? You have any idea where he goes when he steps outside that door? I know. My husband. Well, you think you can just carry on? Pretty little Gemma in her doll's house. We haven't even started. <laughs>
looked up at his mummy and daddy and smiled. Then they tucked him away in his little jungle bed. And the little monkey took one last look at his favourite star and closed his eyes. Night night, little monkey. Sweet dreams. Tomorrow will be a brand new day. Night, Sean. Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you jump. <laughs> Aubergine and ricotta lasagna. Uh, we didn't know if you were a vegetarian. No, I'm not. Uh, my wife had just wrote it down there. It's a medium hot oven, takes about 40 minutes. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> I don't mean to be rude. I was just going to get to bed. Oh, right. Uh, sorry, I should have rung. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, <sighs> listen, Gemma, look, um, I don't want to put any more pressure on you, but um, I just want to give you a heads up. Where is it? Oh, there, there may be some child protection issues with Stephen's arrest that, that, that might uh, affect your, your position. <laughs> but I, I haven't done... Anything? Well, absolutely. But you know what the governors are like on this kind of thing. There may be a push to offer you compassionate leave. I really need my job now. Well, of course. I, 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 I understand. I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll do my utmost to protect you. Thank you. Oh, right. Bye, Jim. Good night. You win this for free or something? What are you doing with your money? You need new treads. You need a new face. <laughs> Sorry, it's the tops. You will be. Now do one. What are you doing messing around with Bud? Putting as much our graft as you're doing there. You could triple your money. Quadruple it. I'm not interested. I don't do the hard stuff. 
Never make a custom, will you? Little low rent Lou. Hasn't got the balls for it. I've still got more than you. <laughs> Get out of my car. <laughs> You, you keep yourself decent today, all right? It's amazing they haven't banned you. That poor officer. Highlight of his miserable life. Thank you. Put your finger in there, please. And you're visiting Stephen Ross School, yes? What are you involved in? What are you talking about? Why is there a gun in your mum's caravan, Steve? Jim. Jim. I found it. Steve. I know. Gemma, look, it's not what you think. It's, it's what not... have you done? I've done nothing. Please, Steve. Stop lying to me. Please. I've been set up, right? Someone planted the gun. Why would they do that? I don't know. How would they do that? Gemma, I don't know. You know no, you've got the keys to your caravan, Steve. You and your mum, you know, no, no one else even knows about it. So how would they do that? No, Gemma. They must have found a way. They must have forced a way in. No, no one had broken in. It was locked. You you put the gun there. Didn't. I know it locked it. Stop lying to me. All right. All right, I'll tell you. But it weren't my fault, OK? I got involved in something. What sort of thing? I was driving. I was moving cars for this block, no, no questions asked. I knew that there was probably storming, but I thought, you know... I thought, you know, I'll just... I'll just do it. Ten cars, that's all. Enough to pay for the kitchen and then I'll... Get out. But this guy is just. He won't let me stop. What do you mean? Well, that's why I went to the pub. Right? To tell him I was done, but he won't have any. He went nuts. He started pushing and shoving me. Right? I tried to leave. So he, 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 he followed me outside. He attacked me, Jim. Jim. He pulled out a gun. 
why. He said he's going to shoot me. He said he's, he's going to kill me. And I remember thinking, I want a second. I don't want to die. I want you and I want the baby. And I just, I, I, I grab him and the gun it just, it just goes off. And I panicked, you know. I still had the gun in my hand. I ran to the car and I just, drove back to work. You idiot. I know. I didn't realise, OK? I just... I got mixed up in something and it just... It you just, lied to me. I had to lie to Steve, we don't do that. We don't lie to each other. Look at that. Right. I wanted to tell you, but I couldn't. Please, Jim. I had to protect you no, and protect no, the people. No. Gemma, please, don't look at me. I don't know what... Touch me. Gemma! Thank you. How many weeks are you? Twenty eight. Must be you over the worst then. We don't do work. As long as you're picking up. Well, don't bother about that. Where's the stop cock? What cock? Stand aside. I'm going in. Here we go. Oh, my... What are they? It should be in here. I've got it. They're full. So you chuck out the carpet and you let it all dry out. I don't think I can do this. Maybe you don't have to. You can walk away. But 
love him. Well, then you'll find a way to live with it. Every day, first thing when you wake up, you forget. And you reach out and there's no one there to share, to hold your hand, to be there. And the doubts and the questions, does this count? Is this still love? Nobody out there knows what it's like. But we do. Your husband's defaulted on his payment, and I have a court order to prove it. No, you're not doing this. We're in for the shit. You've got to keep your head down, because the sky's falling in. They won't go away until they get what they're after. Hey, yeah. We found it. They're going to find it, too. Can you get rid of something for Steve? No, you don't ask me that. We do not have this conversation. Oh, sorry. I'm afraid it won't come out of his cell. Oh, right. Not Lauren, We're no. just trying to support Mason during these special circumstances. Then why don't you? Oh, peace off. Who the hell do you think you are, Franny? So next week, her life of luxury may be over. The bailiffs catch up with Francesca. Prisoners' Wives continues next Tuesday night at nine here on BBC One.